Hi everyone, this is Caitlin from MissCaitlinMcCarthy.com and today I wanted to share with you the three keys to becoming the queen of your own life and why you want to become the queen of your own life. So the best and easiest way for me to explain that is to tell you the difference between a princess and a queen. So a princess is very much pushed and pulled by what other people want for her, by what other people think about her, by what other people say, what other people do. She's not confident in her own decisions, she is not confident in her own actions, and she is not confident about where she wants to go and what she wants to do in her life. Whereas a queen has graduated. A queen knows exactly what she wants. A queen knows exactly how she's going to get it, and a queen does not mind if other people have opinions that are contrary to hers. She knows that she's co-creating her existence with the divine and that everything is working out in exactly the way it's meant to work out. So without further ado, the three, the three keys to becoming the queen of your own life are number one, choose to be a vixen, not a victim. Now I did say choose because there's always a choice in everything. There are definitely things that come up in your life that are very left of centre or that are emotional or that are things that you just didn't expect or don't want to happen but you ultimately have the choice whether you respond or you react in the same old way that you always have, letting everything kind of send you into a little ball of hate, anger and resentment. One of the ways that I love to pet myself back up if I kind of go into victimhood is listening to music and there's a few songs but one in particular I really love because each time I listen to it, it just makes me feel like, mm-hmm, bring it life. So that is The Way I Are by Timberland. And I think it's the beat that just makes me want to kind of get down and be like, uh-huh. But whatever it is, it makes me feel like I can take on whatever is coming my way. So perhaps there's a song that you could use that would help you feel the same way. Number two is have rock solid boundaries. And so boundaries can be put in place in every part of your life. Home life, relationship, work, emotions, friends, all of them can all have boundaries and they will all help you if you have boundaries. Perhaps with emotion, like when there's emotionally draining people that you interact with, you can put boundaries on how long you spend with those people or perhaps the frequency with which you see those people. You know that you've been around those people because you kind of leave their presence and you're a bit like, oh, I feel as though I need a nap rather than being uplifted and energized by their, by their presence. Perhaps you could do it at home, put in some boundaries at home in that if you hate cooking and it brings you down and it makes you feel like, Bleh, don't do it. If you are able to hire someone to cook your meals or if you're able to um, get your meals delivered, then do that. If it's not financially viable for you to do that, then perhaps you can ask your partner to help you or even have nights where your partner cooks dinner without you or your kids if they're old enough. Whatever it takes to make you feel like you are the queen of your life. Number three is self-care. Have top-notch self-care rituals. There are a few that I use that are part of my everyday and one of them, which seems to be a universal kind of thing, right? Everybody needs time to themselves. So giving your, the, yourself the gift of having some alone time. I realize if you have kids it might be harder but even just 10 minutes 10 minutes a day to get yourself out of all this and into this and to give yourself some time to be another way is to get out into nature because that enables you to connect to something greater than yourself if you can put your feet in the earth and ground or go to the beach and hang out with all those negative ions coming from the salt water absolutely do it. It will energize you for sure. Another way is to perhaps have a massage. Do a little bit of pampering. It doesn't have to be expensive. You can even go to a Thai massage place that they're really not that expensive are they? Um, or you can read a book or you can get a facial or you can do your own nails. There's all these little things that add up to big results. So that was number three. So to, to wrap up the three things that you need to know to become the queen of your own life are one, choose to be a vixen, not a victim. Number two, 
have rock solid boundaries. And number three, absolutely make self care a non negotiable. I really hope that you got some value out of this video. I would love it if you'd share it. If you think if you think you did get some value out of it, please leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. Um, and if you haven't jumped over onto my Facebook page, look up Caitlin McCarthy and please give it a like. I do post awesome content on there. Um, I hope you guys have a fantastic afternoon and I'm sending you lots of love. Bye.